for a minute. So welcome everybody. Lori, did you, that's a nice armpit there. <laughs> what? Armpit. Well, I was throwing my bikini top away from the door it's hanging on. So <laughs> it's like, it's almost 80 here. So we were outside for a while. Wow. That's beautiful. Did, did you see Robert Locke's new article? And he has a, he put a Twitter bit in there about the guy who's on a Zoom call and he has this really cool cabinet, like this warped cabinet in the back. Oh yeah, it was something like shame the bookshelves. Yeah, yeah. It's, about, that, it's a very funny article, but the best part of it is this Twitter, this Twitter nonsense. And it's really made me think, hmm, what's in our backgrounds? Maybe we should like, Maybe we should have fun things in our backgrounds. <laughs> I saw um, some, there's, somebody sent me a list of pictures of people who are teaching online now, you know, and things that were in their background. And one pr college professor was teaching and his wife's bras were like hanging on the doorknob behind him or something. So. <laughs> it's very funny. It's very yeah. funny. Anyway, so check that article out. It's a good one. It's uh, it's really a good laugh. Uh oh, let's see. Uh, here's more passwords. Let's see. Let me give these people a password. What is that password again? <laughs> uh, hold on, I have it. Three five three. Something. Three five three four five one. Yeah. Four five one. Three five three four five. We should we should write a jingle. Go ahead, Lori. Three, three, four, five, one. If you join, it's lots of fun. Sorry. For the Barney yeah. theme song. Well done. <laughs> so did you do your trailer? Lori's working on a trailer. We've got my um stepson this weekend and we've been trying to we get we finally got the order that all the other smart states got for shelter in place and so all that kind of stuff. Really? And, um, just now? Alabama just got it now? Friday at or Thursday. Anyway, I think it was Friday. She said that we would shelter in place and then it started yesterday at five. So, so, but I'm also, I've also oh, been I, I working like on their time. Five. I've yes. also been working on as of five o'clock. Hunker down. Corona's going to get you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so get yourself ready because five o'clock, that's it. That's your deadline. Yeah. But um, I'm doing a, you know, a lot of churches are having, the preachers are preaching online and stuff, but um, we were talking, some of us were talking about how we miss singing together. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to um, put up on my Facebook page and I guess I'll have to give them passwords too. But um, um, uh, corporate Zoom worship, I'll play the piano and sing and share the screen with the lyrics and then people can join in and we can all sing. Yeah, so, why not? Nice. Zoom is so popular now. Everybody's writing about Zoom. Everybody's doing that. Like, I've been Zooming for years and my son was like, mom, I, I didn't think Zoom was going to be a thing back then. Remember when we talked about Zoom? And I, I was like, yeah, I do. I remember, but I kept Zooming. And now all of a sudden everybody's Zooming. Now it's popular. You were Zooming when Zooming wasn't cool. I was Zooming when Zooming wasn't cool. Here comes Christy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Okay. Where's that dog? Where's you didn't that get the dog yet, right? We have no audio. She's connecting. There. Are you in? Yeah, I got it. I'm doing it on my phone for the first time. Uh oh, wait a minute. What is going on? What do you mean? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Lori, do you have underwear on? You wear pants? I do. Yeah, it's pants. It's, it's khakis. Khaki shorts. We gotta, we gotta roll back that beautiful oh, bean footage. Oh. I'm not no, sure. No, it's shorts. They're just short. That didn't look like what it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was short. It's, I have khaki shorts on. <laughs> They're just short. That was funny. <laughs> So yeah. I can only stay. I can only stay for like twenty minutes because I gotta dry my hair and go. Well, that's okay. We got our laugh for the day. So I'm good. <laughs> perfect timing. 
<laughs> well, I was gonna say, I was gonna do baby cat back later, so I was just giving y'all a taste. I'm just kidding. We <laughs> well, we were just talking about how Lori's state of Alabama just just they just start, started their lockdown and they and they put a time limit on it. They was like, as of five o'clock. You're you locked down. Five o'clock. And you know, the funny thing is, shelter in place means if you need food, you can still go to the grocery store. You can still yeah. pick up your medicines. But people were freaking out, trying to get to the store. And I'm like, oh my God, Bubba Joe Bob. We're just not getting it. <laughs> I don't understand. It's don't not really being publicly it. shamed to get takeout food. And I'm very confused by that. Well, well some of the places are trying to stay afloat, but I mean. Yeah, and I get that, and I, you know, obviously feel that, but it's so interesting that that, the thing you're actually putting in your mouth after touching the takeout container, we're not, we're not shaming that. It's, yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. Obviously, I want everyone to be able to stay open and kumbaya. Yeah, Look, it's a, I, yeah that's a good point. I really want to have the experience of the drive-by margarita pickup. Oh, sure. What? The I want that. Yeah, that's, I want to, I just want to go out just to have that experience. So Chili's in our neighborhood has a drive-by and this other place too, like the fit, my best, if you ever come to the Hudson Valley, there's this place called Hudson Taco. They make the best tacos on the planet like fish tacos and their margaritas are top notch and you know new york state in new york state the, the governor said for just during this lockdown takeout restaurants any restaurants anybody there you're allowed to have you know drinks prepared drinks bottles of wine whatever it is like open container because that was illegal before you can pick it up at your place and then go, which technically, I guess you could, that means like, you know, get your straw out and you could take a sip before you get home. But, you know, but just for the pandemic, this is not, a, don't get used to it. It's not a permanent thing. But so I really just want to have the experience so that I can, you know, say to grandchildren at some point, yes, we used to have drive-by margarita pickups. I yeah. want to go find that. I'm going to Google that in my city. I want alcohol. I mean, I don't really want alcohol, but I would do that just because. Yeah. Just, just have the experience. People have set up drive-by birthday parties out here now for like kids who obviously mm -hmm. birthdays. And so people are setting up Facebook pages where you can register your kid's birthday and then like a whole convoy of neighborhood people just drive by with signs. It's so, so great. Cool. That's very cool. We had, somebody did that with a wedding I saw on Facebook somewhere. Like they had the wedding in the church, like the, they stayed way back and the preacher still married them and it was just them. But then all their guests like drove through the church parking lot and I don't know if they threw bird seed at them or they just honked or what, but. That's nice. This seems That's funny. So Pick, yeah. drive, put it in park, fling some bird seed. The next person drives, fling. That's a lot of bird seed. Thank you for the proof that you're wearing pants, Susan. Yeah, I, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, I thought you'd appreciate that. So, <laughs> this is how rumors well, start. Hey, how am I supposed to run? For I got days? dressed up today. I'm no. dressed today Wait. like I'm going on a date or something just to go meet this dog. <laughs> it was I'm like an opportunity to put real clothes on. I'm excited that you're going to meet a dog. I can't wait to meet the dog. If the dog likes you, I'm like so thrilled. We all want to see puppies, more puppies. You got to name the dog I've, Corona. I've Corona? <laughs> well, <laughs> here's the thing. The dog is seven months old and she has a name. I don't know if it was her given name or if the shelter gave it to her. Her name is Hope. But I wanted to name a new Ooh. dog Karma. I don't know. Oh, that's a good name. Well, see, plus think about what you're doing like like you're manifesting into the universe come here karma come karma i am wrong i know what, what if hey, it comes in my house hey what karma karma pooped in my house that's not good <laughs> <laughs> yeah bad karma karma <laughs> 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 
<laughs> bad karma. <laughs> bad karma. Hey, I think that, that we're on to something with that name. <laughs> I mean, imagine the articles you'll be able to write, Christy. I, I, I named my dog Karma. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> How it went. <laughs> yeah. So I have, I have a question for you all because I, I don't have an article to share, but I, I, someone mentioned something to me. I don't remember even who anymore. It's like, a, it's a Zoom, it's a Zoom room blur at this point. Um, like the days of the calendar are all blurred together. It's like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, day, and uh, it and we have you know Zoom room bloom, Zoom room blur. Uh, but somebody mentioned to me about a new form of yoga that I had never heard of before. And you know how there's so many people who like, I'm not doing yoga, I'm not meditating, I'm not doing, I'm not going into like crazy contortions and configuring my body then it'll, it'll hurt me. Oh no, ew, we lost Andy. And you know, I'm not gonna do that, right? He left as soon as you said yoga. <laughs> like I'm not doing yoga. Anyway, he'll be back. I, I swear he'll be back. But this new form of yoga is called laugh yoga. But it's actually mm -hmm. not new. He thinks That's he got cool. hacked. He's rebooting his laptop. He just sent oh. me a message. Anyway, it's called laugh yoga. Have you heard of it? No. No, no I don't think so either. It's I've heard of laugh therapy, but not yoga. It's supposed to be like really... Um, it's a really, well, we knew this, right? It's very therapeutic. It's cardiovascular, you know, laughter is cardiovascular. It's, yeah. it's breathing. It's the whole thing. I'm going to show you something and then, and then I'm going to, I'm going to tell you that, um, you should go like look up Ted talks and other stuff, but this guy, Dr. Pateria, he, he's like, he's like a laugh yoga guy. Check this out. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I just want to check this out. I want you to check this out. <laughs> I'm back. <gasps> Yay. Is there supposed to be no sound? He's just doing this? What's yeah, that? we had the sound issue last time too. Oh, know. that's my fault. Hold on. I'll fix that. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Hold on. My fault. My bad. My bad. Me bad. My bad. My bad. Let me start again. Hold on. I got gotcha. you. It has to do some weird setting that I forgot, but I got it. Tell you, you just got to see this one. laughing without a sound. This is very funny. You really feel like laughing when you're not allowed to laugh. <laughs> Watch this video, and <laughs> I'm sure you will love it. Ah. <laughs> Tell me the feedback. How do you feel? And try it yourself. It's very funny. Laughing without a sound. Ha ha ha. Hello. My name is Madan Kataria. It's almost 5 a.m. in Mumbai. And I want to laugh. Everybody is sleeping here in the house. There is a temple behind me. People are praying. I think I can still laugh. How? Without sound. Ha, 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 ha,
So this guy, he is, um, so I, someone said laugh yoga. So I went out and I, and I Googled laugh yoga. Well, there's like a shit ton of videos about this thing called laugh yoga. And there are groups, they're laugh groups, and they come together and they do exercises. Now, because I've been studying neuroscience, I know what this does. Like, it's amazing. It's rewiring the brain. But it's also cardiovascular. And so they don't sit around. They, they stand around the room and they do exercises, like milkshake exercise, where you have one milkshake and another milkshake, and then you drink your milkshake, and then you laugh during the whole thing. And the whole group goes around and does these crazy exercises and laughs the whole time. And that is the yoga. That's it. That, that sounds like my job, basically. Have, have you seen Gita, this woman? Yes. She's is she the, the one who did the TED Talk? I think so. She's the best one. Because she, she does with cancer patients. And she <clears> goes, <throat> I'll say my name, and then you'll laugh. And then I'll say my diagnosis, and then you'll laugh. So you go like, I'm Andy. Ha, 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 ha. And she makes you like laugh a certain way. Like, ha, 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 ha. And then she goes, and I have cancer. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. It is so oh. good. It's, there, without a doubt, it is the best, it is the best yoga that I've ever seen. I, 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 I just, so he, Dr. Ka, this Dr. Kataria, he does this thing where he, there's this one, he goes, okay, now we're going to go, it's called um, um, laughing at the visa bill. And you go up to somebody, and it's like a namaste thing, and you go, oh, 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 oh. Ah. Wow. <laughs> I'll be doing that for the rent next month, laughing that. at the rent bill. Oh. Laugh yoga, I swear. Check it out. Like, there's TED Talks about it. There's whole, these whole exercises. There's all these exercises you could do. It's better than, remember those old, like, like the exercise programs to your television with, like, Jane Fonda? <laughs> I don't know. Those were pretty good with body suits, though. <laughs> Laugh yoga. You could totally do it from the comfort of your own home. Well, that's what I do when I watch Jimmy Fallon. Do you ever just watch Jimmy Fallon repeats on YouTube? Oh, my God. They're great. Just laugh. But this actually is participatory and better yet this could be like this could totally be a career choice for like they have laugh yoga instructors so this is one gal who did a ted talk in montreal she got introduced to laugh yoga and as a result it's like i did zumba and then i became a zumba instructor she did laugh yoga and now she's a laugh yoga instructor i want that job oh yeah job I'm going to start a franchise right here in Poughkeepsie. You should do it. Laugh clubs. <laughs> they call it laugh club. Better than fight club. Uh, the number one know. rule of laugh clubs is everybody laughs at laugh clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've watched too many movies. <laughs> yeah, especially now. That's all I do is watch TV. I've watched How to Get Away with Murder so many times now. I think I'm a sociopath by default. Dude, know. that's my show. I've been following it religiously since day one. And now the final few episodes of the final season are on TV. And I'm really sad already that it's yeah. It's true, though. Like, you become, I can't understand how people live their lives like that. It's so stressful. I know. It's, it, and they're all, I mean, they're all sociopaths. It's just crazy. I don't know any yeah. of them that aren't just twisted. That's just how all the murders happen, and you don't even know it. <laughs> yep. Well, I think if a murder happens, you know it. If you're the dead You know one. the murder happened, but people get away with it all the time for the rest of their oh. lives. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Great, great I used to watch a lot of crime shows, and I had to stop. It was getting too serious. Yeah. I was getting too, it was, I was getting way too into it. But I have to say, now I'm, because of you, Christy, I'm watching Ozark. Yes, Ozark. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep watching, but it gets really, really twisted, and it's pretty fucked up. Like, it's, but it's like brilliantly done, though. It's, it's really totally good. twisted. Yeah, totally, totally twisted. 
I watched the whole third season in the first day of lockdown. I, I didn't. I haven't watched the first. I'm not done with the first season yet, but I'll get there. It's a crazy yeah. show, though, man. It's so crazy. And who doesn't love Jason Bateman? I mean, I do. Big fan. Eh, I could take him or leave him. I, I like him. It's not really my, not really my thing. <laughs> I like all men. Let's, let's put it that way. I like all the men all the time. <laughs> in the world or just on that show? <laughs> like, basically in the world. <laughs> so, at the, does anybody have anything that they planned for today? I do. I didn't because I have to sign out in two minutes. Okay. So, Lori, you do? I do, but here's my here's mine that I really love. I don't know if you can see him. Jensen Ackles. Oh. Yeah. Who is it? The, the screen is small. Who is it? Jensen Ackles. Just look him up, Christy. You'll really like him. From Supernatural. Okay. Yes, oh. Supernatural is also ending this year, and oh my gosh, I like Justin Timberlake a lot. Yeah, he's what, he's Andy? Don't shake your head. <laughs> Who was just, I forget. Oh, Jessica, his wife, Jessica Beale, was on Jimmy Fallon, so you may have seen, and she, Jimmy Fallon found footage of her back in the 1990s saying, like, I don't really get in sync. I don't really like them. <laughs> and he played it on the show, and she had to admit that she doesn't, she still doesn't like in sync, and she doesn't know their music. Yeah, that's funny. All right, guys, I'm going to sign out. So uh, wish me luck that I come home with a dog. <laughs> yeah, good luck. With, good luck. Karma. karma. Just don't call him Karma Chameleon. No. Because I, then he may come fan. and go. He may come yeah. and go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> good one, Lori. <laughs> All right, you guys enjoy the rest of your call. I will see you. See you later. next time. It's okay. Soon. Bye, guys. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> How do I get off of this thing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wait, I can still hear you guys. <laughs> oh, there's a thing that says leave on the phone. I don't know if that works. But. Clearly, I didn't leave. I just... I can probably kick you out. Yeah, kick me out because I don't even know where to go now. Oh, wait. All right, I'm kicking you out. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was good. You literally, I can keep kick people out. I'm glad that you're feeling better, Laurie. Me too. Me too. Oh, share. Go ahead. I'm gonna mute myself now. Okay. okay. Well, I'm keeping on the music theme, and I decided to do a few Broadway hits from off off Broadway for pets. So, please pause for identification. <laughs> Get it anyway. All right, so this, if Broadway was for wiener dogs. Oh crap, my battery's almost dead. Dang it, hang on. Ugh. Sorry, I'm gonna turn y'all upside down. Ooh, look at that. Is that, do you feel sick now? Oh my gosh, I am upside down. <laughs> That's really odd. And it won't go in, okay. No, am I charging? You saw my stuff. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now maybe I can do it. There we go. I should have stayed upside down. All right. So, Broadway for Wiener Dogs. Bonus points if you can name the Broadway musical. <laughs> when you're a pet, you're a pet. All the way from your first doggy treat till your last wagon day. When you're a pet, you're a pet through and through. Throw a ball back to me and I'll throw it to you. Yes! West Side Story, best musical, one of the best musicals ever in the world. I love it. Okay. Always got to have a sad song. That was like the come together song. Now you have to have a sad song. I dreamed a dream of bacon pie. Where tennis balls would fall like snowflakes. 
There were no bats to make me cry. And belly rubs were just like handshakes. But the poop is on the floor. And the humans are unhappy. Ate my dog food, asked for more. So I think that I might want. That was really low. Mm. All right. I wish I could. I wish I could paper share so we could sing the last one together. Anybody know what that musical was? You must know. No. Lay me is. Look, I can read her lips. All right. And this is from another one of my favorites. <clears throat> It's pet love. <clears throat> Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred kisses. Five hundred twenty-five thousand floppy dog ears. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred paw prints. How do you measure a wiener dog ear in dog treats? In trail wags, in fetch games, in lots of cuddles, in bellies, in naps, I'm walking outside. 525,600 kisses. How do you measure a year with a dog? How about love? How about love? How about love, wiener dog love, wiener dog love. Ta-da. <laughs> First line. No. That was rent. Yeah. That was rent. The that best. was rent? I yeah. love rent. Wait, I thought that was in chorus line. That would be one wiener dog sensation in every little poop she makes. Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Sorry. You have a great voice, Lori, and I really oh. like the idea of the song lyric thing. You're inspiring me here. It's fun. I, I might have to I might have to do a few of those myself. Oh yeah. I can tell you, Lori, the um the CD, like a, the one you did the last time I saw you on here with the, you know, sounds from the 80s kind of CD. Yeah. <laughs> that is a, Second City does that format and you really should perform that because it's such a successful, audiences love that stuff. Oh, that's, I, I love to sing, I love music and I do better with that kind of thing than I do like, what's the deal with Circus Peanuts? You know, sure. really good at that. <laughs> do you like Bo Burnham? Have you ever listened to him? I don't think I have. I need to write him down. He's like a young kid comedian. He does stand up in song. Oh, that's cool. So you'd probably love him. Bo, Bo Burnham. Burnham. He does some okay. good stuff. That's really cool. I like it. It's really good, Lori. Now, how long did it take you to put those together? Uh, about 10 minutes. <laughs> I, my brain works fast on stuff like that. You're like Weird Al. I am. I'm weird. And I have curly hair. It's the same hair, yeah. <laughs> and I'm he's white so, and nerdy. He's so your look. <laughs> yeah. I find, I think that, I think there's, um, well, 10 minutes is really, that's very impressive. I, I think that the whole, like, improv and thinking on your feet thing, I find that really challenging. Mm -hmm. I, that's, I have always been a procrastinator, a procrastinating improviser, whether it be essays, research papers, um, learning my songs for my senior recital, uh, sometimes lesson plans. In fact, most of the time when I write on Medium, I write the article in 15 to 30 minutes, and the rest of the time is spent fixing all the typos because I don't type very well. <laughs> but um, that's just... NASA makes me slow down because they're very detail oriented, but in real creative life, I'm very high. 
That's really awesome. It's good to hear that NASA is detail oriented though. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's just slap that booster rocket in there. It'll probably work. If I was sitting on a booster rocket, I'd want them to be detail oriented. Yeah. <laughs> you might have a tornado, maybe not. Who knows? Really no way to know. There's no way to measure that. Yeah, we don't. Metrics? Who needs metrics? Who yeah. needs data? Who needs science? I hated geometry in high school. Me too. Geometry? I don't know. I, I just imagine some NASA engineer being like, ah, trick. Yeah. Calculus. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs it? My son loved calculus. I'm going to go with my gut here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I brought a short little thing to read. Yes. Yay. Cool. I was thinking about food waste um, in times of COVID, and I think I actually am going to write a little onion style, like a, a American can't wait for COVID to be over so he can keep wasting food again, or food and money, again, something like that. Um, but then I thought I kind of have this little, um, I don't know where I post, I think I just posted it on Medium. I don't think I posted to Muddyum. I think this was pre- Muddyum. I posted uh, kind of like a, a fox satire on uh, how a fox thinks about their food versus how humans think of their food. So this is uh, Fox wonders if that chicken from last week is still good. And it's a uh, fox in the southern part of town cannot for the life of it remember if the chicken that sits in front of him was killed last Thursday or last Saturday. And then internal thought here. If I got it on Saturday, then it is bound to still be okay to eat. But if it was from Thursday, well, that's a bit risky. Was Thursday the night I raided the farm? Or was that the night I chased two toads down to the river? What did I do Friday night? Sunday, I know I went over to the honey badgers for dinner. It still smells all right, as far as dead fowl go. But then again, it is a dead chicken looks the same as it did last week too. Hmm. Well, it was pretty cold at night. That probably preserved it. Although it did get pretty hot on Sunday afternoon. I should have buried it. Ugh. Then again, I did just have a bath on Friday. Oh, that's what I did on Friday. I had a bath. Okay. So that means that I killed this chicken. No, I still don't know. I bet it's okay to eat. I can just have a little taste. And if it's bad, I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to tell. Or maybe I should just throw it out and go get something else. Am I just being lazy? That I hate wasting food. Why do I do this? What is wrong with me that I can't finish what I start? Now I sound like my mother. What was that? A meadow bowl. Okay, that is what I want to eat today. But if the chicken smells good tomorrow, I'm coming back and eating it. <laughs> that was great. I've always loved that little. I like that a lot. That's really, really I'm gonna, good. I'm going to send you, or maybe, maybe I'll just share it in Medium Outlaws. There's this guy that lives in Alabama that does Southern Mama this, like Southern Mama host a birthday party, Southern Mama during coronavirus. Southern, and he talks like a Southern Mama. I told you, get up. You know, it's just really funny. I don't know. For some reason, you reminded me of Southern Mama. Oh, just, that's cute. <laughs> I like it. That was a good one. That was really great, Andy. Thanks for sharing that one. Thanks. Well, I feel really bad, but I did, we got to take my stepson back and get home by prior to five o'clock. So, um, and he wants to go wave at his grandparents through the screen door before uh -huh. we go. So I got to sign off. Well, good but, do that. It's okay. We're we're. This is a short one today. It's Sunday. Sunday afternoon. People have things to do. Christy had to go get a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I would be back on Tuesday. But definitely check out that laugh yoga thing. It's pretty cool. I will. Y'all were great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thank Laura, you for you sharing. Too. We'll you see too. you all on Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.